Hey, it's Sid. I go by the blind artisan because I am a visually impaired artist on a mission to become the best artist I can possibly be and I'm so honored and happy that you're here. In this video, I will be taking you through my week while we simultaneously have the conversation of embracing yourself and shamelessly being yourself because I feel like that is an important conversation for us as people and artists to have. And so if that's something that you're really interested in, again, I'm so honored to have you here. Grab your sketchbook, a cozy drink, and I hope you enjoy the video. Today, I decided to start off my day with nurturing my plants a little bit. I feel like I've been neglecting this particular plant, my pothos, because it needed a bigger pot. And I don't have one, so I decided to go ahead and propagate it because number one, they make wonderful impromptu gifts, and number two, I do want to try growing the pothos in water and seeing how that works out. But filling their cup, literally, felt like I was filling my own cup, which was a really, really nice experience. And when I was ready, I decided to sit down and start editing this week's YouTube video, which is an art form in itself. And I have to say that during this editing process, there was this feeling of self-doubt, whether it was the way that I was speaking or the way the video looked. And just like any other art piece, I felt like I had to get out of my head and just keep going. For thumbnails, I typically make multiple. So I made this one, this one, and this one. And I just typically just take a screenshot from the video and then I um, just do my thing. I have my signature text and I make it look how it looked. <laughs> but I put this as a poll on Instagram and you guys voted for this one. So that's the one we're going to go with for this video. And as I was adding the final details and I was getting everything up into YouTube, I just kept feeling these butterflies in my stomach as I was about to put this video out. And I will say every video comes with these butterflies, but this one in particular, it felt a little extreme. Hi, I just uploaded the video and of course I'm having feelings of self-doubt and I'm nervous because I feel like when I was re-watching it, I was talking a lot. I was saying a lot of stuff and I guess it's like when you hear your own voice, do you ever find it kind of like annoying? <laughs> so I'm like, oh my god, I'm talking so much in this video. What if people don't like it? What if it's not like what people are looking for? But I have to remind myself like why I'm making these videos and it really is to document my journey and to share my thoughts and maybe it'll help someone. I hope it does. I hope it makes people feel less alone. Um, but you know, my main goal was to document my journey and so I can look back at it and be proud of myself because I've always wanted to do YouTube videos and stuff. So I'm trying to not cave into this feeling of self-doubt and uh, yeah. But little did I know that that one video that I posted that I was feeling so much self-doubt about would be my best performing video. The one where I was being vulnerable. The one where I was being the most true to myself than I've ever have been on the internet. And I felt like that was a sign. But nevertheless, let's get into some art. Today, I really wanted to work on this sticker sheet design. I'm kind of planning for a fall drop. It's sort of like a personal drop, nothing too crazy. And so I wanted to do a little sticker sheet design, just all fall themed. So I am actually wrapping this up and I'm so excited, you know? it's It's been really, really fun. I feel like stickers, you don't have to do too much with them. You can do as little or as much as you want to, but it feels like the process goes by a little bit faster, but also with stickers, with sticker sheets, you can actually still pay attention to the composition, which is something that I find to be very, very fun. that I have to constantly be mindful about is my mindset when it comes to creating art that I may potentially sell. I feel like I can get into this rabbit hole of will anybody actually like this? Will anybody buy this? And I've noticed time and time again that my art sells the best and is received the best when I create work that I really resonate with and that I am passionate about. And I feel like this sticker sheet came out in a way that I love and that I would use so maybe it'll do well but even if it doesn't 
I think it's great. We just have a little bit of cleaning up to do and it will be done. Speaking of creating pieces where you follow your intuition and your heart, this piece is called Aries and it took me a long time to complete, but I think it's one of my most well-received pieces and it's crazy because I feel like it was created with my own judgment and without me asking for anyone else's opinion and um, I guess as a reminder that sometimes my judgment is enough. Check out what? how well this piece printed. All those details. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Ah, this piece is titled Aries. It's one of my most popular Zodiac pieces. And um, yeah, I'm so excited to ship her out to a new home. I love how she came out. And I think that my customer is gonna love how it came out too. And uh, yeah. <laughs> It took me the longest time to learn to accept my style for what it is. Of course, I'm still learning and improving, but learning to appreciate my own eye and the way that I see the world has been one of the biggest acts of self-love that I could have done. And then on top of that, when people order my work and they want it in their own space, I can't help but feel this immense feeling of gratitude because they want to see my work like every day and that's crazy and that's just some extra validation to know that my piece has been well received to at least one person and for some reason that's really validating and so remember that your art is the same way it is well received by at least one person and you are seen you are valuable and your voice is necessary just by being who you are. Order is all packed and we are ready to go. Yay! I'm so excited. One of my favorite parts about packing orders is the fact that I get to go on a walk and go outside. And yes, sometimes I need orders as an excuse to get out the house. But when I do, I remember that I am just this little being on this planet, just living my life and being myself. and. That feeling reminds me of how magical it is to just be alive and to just create and how beautiful our creations are just because they exist. I think looking at things in this way has allowed me to not only appreciate my practice and the way I create art, but it has allowed me to appreciate all forms of art, all kinds of creations, because we are just these little beings on this planet, this floating rock through space, just creating things and we're drawn to create. And I feel like that's for a reason. And I think it's so beautiful and a wonderful way for us to connect with each other. So my partner, Jason, surprised me with these beautiful flowers from the farmer's market. Look how unique this one looks. It's so pretty. I wanna draw it so bad. And same thing with this one. So I'm so happy and I'm so lucky and I'm so grateful. And yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and put these in some water. Just like flowers, we are so unique. And when I think about my partner, being drawn to these beautiful but vastly different flowers. One yellow and lanky, another one purple and droopy. When I think about that and how he saw the beauty in both and how he envisioned them existing in one bouquet, it reminds me how we all bring different things to the table, different stories, different skills, different views, and how we all coexist in this beautiful life. A really bad day. I want to encourage you to take a look around and look at the different trees around you coexisting and look at the different bushes, the different flowers, the different birds, everything. And just appreciate that and remember that you too are a flower. You too are a magical, beautiful, colorful bird that is that belongs in this world. Also, I want you to take a minute to consider what are your strengths? What, are, what is something that you are really, really good at and that you know that you're good at? And if you don't know something that you're good at, ask somebody close to you what they think that you're good at. And when they give you an answer, think on that and apply that and use that strength to your advantage and see where it takes you. Hello, 
Hello, we are back from the thrift store. I didn't get that much this time, which is okay. I feel like thrift stores and just thrifting is an excuse for me to actually like go outside and go on a walk and move my body a little bit. So that was a mission accomplished, but I did want to show you. The, I got these pants. They're like some flare pants with these cute autumn sort of theme design, these um, orange flowers and leaves. I feel like they're perfect for the autumn season. The interesting thing is I was so um, on the fence about them because I'm more of just a plain black girly, but I really appreciate patterns and I love it. I love it so much and it's so inspiring and it's so autumn themed and it's just, it's just cool. I love them. They're just like, I, I was, when I was looking at them, I was like, how could I not how could I not get these pants? So I got them. I also wanted to show you how. Ugh. This is how the painting's looking. You know, she, she's looking nice. Um, yeah, I feel like the varnish did a good job. I went over it with a second coat yesterday. And um, I feel good about it. Although I must say, so I posted a thread on threads yesterday and i was feeling now i'm feeling really insecure because it was one of my digital pieces <laughs> and the thread did really really well and sometimes i feel really insecure about how my art looks uh traditionally because i'm still really learning traditional mediums and um yeah so i'm really nervous to show this because i know it doesn't maybe it doesn't amount to my digital work but I feel like it's still my work and I feel like it's still really cool looking and, and I want to show it and I think it deserves to be seen, right? Like the most perfect professional art deserves to be seen, but so does any other form of self-expression, I think. So, yeah. This afternoon I decided to sit down and draw one of the flowers that my partner got me and I was just so captivated by this flower. I think it reminds me of a chrysanthemum with the, with the way that it sort of blooms and it's just so gorgeous and I've never really seen anything like it. So yeah, I love it so much. And while I was drawing at first I was getting in my head about the idea not making sense but I think it's always fun to just sort of express yourself and sketch and see where it takes you. And something that's really helped me with drawing things that are new is by attaching something that I'm already sort of comfortable with drawing to it or something that I already like to draw. So for me, that's little lady characters. Um, and so I decided to have a little lady character as the center of the flower, just kind of popping up and being like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> and it was really, really, really fun. And I actually really, really liked the concept. Away from the program. Tonight, my mom, Jason, and I are headed to this fancy gala event. It is an event for the Atlanta Mission, who actually support the homeless community in Atlanta, which is beautiful. And my mom is a sponsor for the event, which is incredible. And the reason why I want to bring this up is because growing up, my mom and I, um, she was a single mom and we were just living life, you know what I mean? We weren't distinguished or fancy. So to see my mom come up and be able to sponsor events that help other people and for us to be in these fancy rooms, it feels unreal. And to see the impact that my mom has made on the community just makes me strive to be able to do the same. subscribers which is insane 
and I just wanted to pop in to say thank you so much for subscribing and for being here and I can't believe it I'm, I'm so excited I'm so honored that you guys like my videos and are tuning in and I hope that they inspire you to be creative and be happy and um, to follow your dreams and um, thank you for making my dreams feel like so possible and turning them into a reality so thank you so much 1,000 subscribers is a lot of people and I'm so grateful and um, yeah to celebrate today I am wearing the pants I thrifted look at them they're so cute and I'm so happy that I got them and I love them so much and um, yeah so thank you again for subscribing for being here and for watching my videos and um, it means the whole entire world to me and I'm so grateful. <laughs>actually getting into some work I decided to work on my little um, flower girl for a little warm-up and my method was to just like put a flat color down and then just like start playing around with all kinds of different colors and seeing what happens and by doing that I'm using the lowish round brush I think it's free if you subscribe to her newsletter so yeah I, I love it it's awesome I feel like it gives you this very sheer type of color you can continue to build and build and build and right now you see me putting down color and blending but I feel like with that brush I don't have to blend as much I can just sort of like lay the color down and so you'll see me do that later on in my painting process but this has been really really fun and something that I've struggled with for the longest time but I'm starting to fully sort of get over is um, how people perceive my art for the longest time I felt really insecure because I cr always have created very surrealistic different looking art and it's always been embraced by a small community of people but not by many and so it was something I, I felt insecure about for a really really long time until very recently where I've been lucky enough to build an audience and a community of people who really like the stuff that I create which is really great but for those of you who may not have that community I think I need to just sit here and remind you that the way you see the world is beautiful and a lot of times people are going to look at things that are different than what they're used to with strange looks and that's okay but I feel like the different things are the innovative things are the things that the world needs you know and I'm not saying that if you draw realistically or create realistically that it's not needed but I think having something fresh and seeing the world in a fresh way serves its purpose um, as well. And you don't have to just fit into a conventional style if you just simply do not. It's okay, you know? Also, I feel like it just takes practice to find your voice and embrace it. Because I feel like when I look at my old work, and maybe we can do a video on that, I always had my style, but it was just deep, deep, deep in there. But there were certain traits about my work that existed, but it took me a lot of practice and a lot of soul searching and a lot of um, learning to kind of um, uncover all of that, you know, but I just want you to be kind to yourself on your journey. I'm still on my journey and I'm still learning to be kind to myself. It's it's hard, you know, it's it's hard, especially when now with social media, you can see all kinds of different arts and it can be easy to think, oh, man, I wish that was me. But you have your skill for a reason and you have your own voice for a reason and your voice needs to be heard from you. Um, and it's impactful. And once you find your style, once you find your voice, you'll be unstoppable. Anyway, so what I'm working on here is a um, t-shirt design for one of my friends who's a musician. And um, yeah, this is just a sketch. I, normally for commissions, I'll do a series of sketches. So this is just one of them. I actually showed them the sketch and we are going to take some elements from it, but um, sort of direct it in a different way. But I still loved how it came out and I had to show you guys. I obviously added chrysanthemums because they are a Scorpio 
and they have double Scorpio placements, but also, you know, chrysanthemums are my, my favorite flower. They just also happen to be a Scorpio flower, so I had an excuse to draw them in, um, which is awesome. I just love them so much, and I feel like every time I draw them, I get a little bit better at drawing them. What is your favorite thing to draw? Like, what just makes you so happy? I feel like chrysanthemums just come so easy to me. Maybe it's because I have a tattoo of them. I mean, I just love them so much. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've been working on. And with the sketch, it actually took me a minute to find my rhythm. I feel like with commissions, we know that the person is commissioning us because they love what we do. They love what we create. They love our voice. They love the way that we see the world. But for me, it's easy for me to constantly overthink it. And so when I was doing thumbnails, I couldn't come up with a good idea for literally months um, until this one. And it was all because I was overthinking and thinking I should be someone that I am not and not play to my strengths. And so this time around, I decided to play to my strengths and do what they gravitate to my work for. And I feel like it really paid off, even though this wasn't the final design. I still felt good coming up with something that we both found to be beautiful. So in times where you're overthinking, remember to just be yourself and that's enough. A common question that I get is, Sydney, how are you visually impaired? And so I thought I would share a little bit of my story with you. I was born with a condition called albinism, which is a condition that affects your skin, hair, and eyes. You basically have a lack of pigment in all those areas. Um, and so because it impacted my eyes, my eyes are very sensitive to the sun, but I also have a condition called nystagmus. And I think it is attributed to albinism, even though not everyone with albinism has it. And so ever since I was little, I, had a visual impairment and also ever since I was little I loved to draw and so my mom would call me the blind artist and so me calling myself the blind artisan is kind of a way for me to reclaim the name and reclaim something I was once very self-conscious about and sort of use it to my advantage because I do feel like I see the world in a unique way I think that we all do um so yeah and Coming to terms with my condition was something that was really difficult for me because I look different than my family and I look different than people at school and I rarely see anybody that really looks like me and when I do see someone with albinism I do get really excited because it's a moment for me but yeah it took me a minute to come to terms that it's okay for me to look the way that I am and it's okay that I have this condition it doesn't make me less of a person or less than I am just as capable to do anything I set my mind and heart to and I think that's why I really want to instill these values into my messaging here on YouTube and any other platform that I'm on because it's something I really care about because I know what it's like to feel like you can't do it or to feel like you're falling short I mean I get it so I really hope that my videos inspire you I hope that my story inspires you I hope that if you have visual impairment of any kind you know that that can't that won't stop you from doing what you love still do what you love and um you've got this hello we are back from the walk and I wanted to show you what came in the mail today. Some of you may already know this, but I wanted to create something that was uh, functional and a drinkware this time. And so I decided to essentially order some mugs to design. And here's what they look like. They're so cute and so dainty and pretty and classy and um, yeah. I'm really, really, really excited to design these. The pack that I ordered came in a pack of four, so I'm kind of considering doing two different designs, maybe just so I can have two tries on them, but here they are. And I'm so excited because they're just completely different and I've never tried something like this before, but my idea is to use UV DTF to basically put the design on there and um, it'll be water resistant you can wash it all these things and it'll be perfect and it'll be exciting to see my art in this way 
So yeah, I figured that maybe we could start thinking of some designs together. So I'm super excited for that. I do have a couple of These were kind of things, these two were ideas that I had in my head. And then this one was just an idea that kind of popped up while I was sketching. So of course I love chrysanthemums and I feel like it would be really cool to do maybe like blue chrysanthemums or just something like maybe a combination of blue and orange chrysanthemums and then have the glass be empty here. I feel like that would be really, really elegant and pretty. And then I also did a variety of mushrooms, which I feel like give fall. Chrysanthemums are fall flowers too, but I feel like, I don't know, there's something about mushrooms that feel very fall-like to me, even though you can find them year-round. And then some fall berries I thought would be nice, and then having it go in this sort of S shape around the mug would be really, really pretty, I think, and really, really different and elegant looking. So I think I might expand on all these ideas. I really like them all um let me know which idea is your favorite i know these sketches are super rough i just drew them pretty quickly and then these were these other ones were just ones that i kind of threw up <laughs> out of my head just to try it out but these ones are the ones i feel like were the most successful and maybe it's because i was just thinking about them the most i was thinking about maybe adding a snake in this one but i also think the mushrooms alone works really really well but yeah i I like these ideas and I like the orientation of them too because I feel like my idea is that it'll start off high over here but by the end of the mug it kind of goes um, low or it could start off high and then the, em the, part, the middle of the mug is kind of empty and then it goes back up to high. I don't know, we can experiment with that but I, I really like these ideas and I think they're very fall but also can be used year round because I didn't really want I wanted to give the autumn vibe, but I just didn't want it to feel too uh, seasonal because I think it's nice to have things that you can use all the time that you feel like you would want to use all the time. So yeah, these are my ideas. <laughs> On this rainy day, I decided to sit by my door with the door wide open and listen to the rain. I love how when the rain falls, there's this nice cooling breeze and it's something that I've just been yearning for for the last week or so. Rainy weather is my favorite weather and I think it's because since I have albinism, my eyes are very sensitive to the sun. So with the rain and the clouds, I feel like I'm able to see just a little bit better. <laughs> but anyways, I decided to work on the mug designs. It's been my most recent passion project. There's always just something fun about making something that's for yourself, but could be for other people if it goes well. So I decided to print out the sketches just so I could see if I had the dimensions correct before I keep moving forward because the worst thing you could do is spend hours working on a piece and then it's the wrong dimensions and then you have to start over or 
do some surgery on the piece. So here I am cutting out the sketches and next we are about to see how they fit. And I have to say, I love the sketches for how they look. I think they look so cute and simple, but I really want these mugs to be vibrant and for them to still have those peaks of glass, but to really feel like a piece by me, which is colorful. So here I am wrapping around the paper and I think they're pretty much a perfect fit. I might um, shrink down the edges a little bit just so it'll be easier to actually like put on when I get the transfers, but overall I'm really really excited about this idea. I think there's something beautiful about just making something all for yourself and I feel that way with this mug because I just always wanted a mug with my art on it and I feel like that would be fun. <laughs> so I would say don't forget to indulge in projects and activities that make you happy and fill your own cup because when they fill your own cup people can see that and it will probably fill their cup or you know draw them to it i really do feel like energy does show through someone's work whether it is desperate energy or burnt out energy or what have you and so having energy in your work that is positive and that you that shows that you had a good time and that you're passionate i think always is received well in my opinion and maybe i could be reaching but that's just what i believe so yeah and i'm having a blast with these blue chrysanthemums i haven't painted blue chrysanthemums in so long but i feel like a blue design on a mug would just be so beautiful and such a lovely contrast to brown colored drinks like coffee and tea i just feel like it'll truly pop i mean look at that it's so colorful I am worried that I may have too much detail, but hey, we'll find out when the time is right. <laughs> now we're working on the mushrooms, and I decided to give them a more monochromatic tone, and I want to add in smaller different variants of mushrooms that are maybe in a different tone to add a little bit more variety, but I love how it's coming along so far. In this video, we created some art but we also discussed the importance of being yourself and embracing who you are as a person artistically all the things and i hope this video made you feel a little less alone and that it reminded you that there is room for you and your art on this earth no matter what phase you are at what stage you are at your work and the way that you see the world is so valuable I really hope that this video resonated with you. I hope it inspires you to continue to chase your dreams. And until next time, I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we